gentleman. Uh, come on, come on. We didn't have time for a ton of. We're grinding from night to the sun up. We're grinding from night to the sun up. Come on, come on. We didn't have time for a ton of. We're grinding from night to the sun up. We're grinding from night to the sun up. Come on, come on. We didn't have time for Yo, what's good people? I hope you guys are doing great and coming close to your goals in 2018. So back at you guys with another short informative video today. I do hope you guys enjoyed that little intro I did in the start. If you did, please leave the uh, video a like. It will be much appreciated. So today's topic, I'm going to be giving you guys my top tips that helped me put on weight when it came to my uh, bulking phase. And I still use these tips currently and it's really, really helped me. And I think you may be able to benefit from at least one of these tips. Okay, people. So tips which can help you when you're in the gaining phase. It's important to note these tips are more nutrition-based tips. Uh, Training-based tips will be for another video because you know training and nutrition are all come together. Training is another part of you actually gaining weight. So I'm gonna explain all that stuff in another video, but these are just you know nutrition-based tips that helped me and which could help you. So, so the first tip I've got is to add more oils into your food. I know some of you might think, why would you wanna increase the amount of oil you're, you're consuming, you know, because we see fats as, the, fats as the enemy, but it's important to move away from this. Fats can actually be beneficial for you. At the end of the day, your body does need that stuff. But when I say add more oils in your food, so adding things like olive oil, coconut oil, you know, making the right choices of oil, but these can quickly add up in calories and you know, you're gonna be taking in more calories without you even realizing because you know, oil isn't, you know, a dense a dense food. You're not gonna, you know, get filled up from consuming more oil, but just adding more oil, for example, when you're, you're cooking, when you're frying, just adding a little bit more oil of the good stuff, obviously, it can really help to bump up the calories. Um, I also heard that actually, you know, um, extra virgin olive oil i heard that if you actually fry olive oil it turns from unsaturated to saturated i'm not sure if that's true or not if you do know the answer to that question please comment down in the comment section it will be much helpful so yeah guys adding oils into your food it can really help add extra few hundred calories into your meals without you actually knowing so the other tip i've got for you guys is to do with the choice of meats you have so you know when you're in the dieting phase, it's always recommended to go for lean cuts of meat, right? So like chicken breast, lean mince, turkey mince, all of that good stuff which can be effective for you. But I recommend, and what I found personally is by shifting away in during your bulking phase from the from the lean cuts of meat and to slightly, you know, fattier cuts of meats can really go a long way. So when I say fattier cut of meat, so for example, instead of having chicken breast, I recommend you have chicken thighs. Not only does chicken thighs taste better, but the fat content is a lot higher. You know, instead of having, for example, lean mince, have normal beef mince with a slightly higher fat content. Because at the end of the day, it's gonna, you know, add to your calories for the day and you're gonna gain more calories just like that. You need to be consuming a lot of calories during your broken phase. So, you know, going for fattier cuts of meat, you know, can really, really go a long way. So that's a tip I recommend you should probably try and implement. Okay, so another tip I've got for you guys is to do with your cooking methods, right? So it'll, this will only depend on certain food items. But for example, you're trying to cook sweet potato. Instead of you boiling sweet potato, why not bake it in the oven? or you know, maybe grill it. By you grilling it, it's gonna lose a lot of its water content. So when it loses its water content, it's not gonna be as dense, right? So then you can consume more. And by you consuming more, you're gaining more calories and you're not feeling as full. Think about it, right? During the cutting phase, people always tell you to consume foods which have a lot of volume. So that's why you eat a lot of vegetables because these, you know, these foods will keep you full, feeling fuller for longer. But by you reducing the water content, for example, in a sweet potato, you're then able to consume more of that sweet potato, more calories, and you still kind of don't feel as full, but then you can still keep eating over more and more. So I recommend vary your cooking methods. It can go a long way. Instead of maybe boiling it, grill it, use cooking methods that will help you, you know, perhaps consume more of that specific food. Okay, guys, so the final tip I have is to have a lot of variety in your food. You know, if you're eating chicken and rice every day, I'm sure sooner or later you're gonna get bored of that food, right? And let's think about it. If you're eating the same stuff every day, eventually it's not appealing to you, so you're gonna to struggle to get those carbs and those proteins in. But by varying your food, you know, it's something exciting to your taste buds. And if your taste buds are excited, you're gonna eat more food with a lot of ease. So you're trying to consume a lot of calories, so you wanna make it easy for yourself to get these calories in. So if you're gonna be bored of eating the same thing and trying to force yourself to eat, 
well, it's probably not going to be as effective. It may work, but you may struggle to get those calories in. So I do recommend adding some sort of variety in your food and that can definitely help you guys. So guys, these are the tips I have used during my bulking phase and which I think are effective and could probably help any of you hard gainers out there trying to gain weight or just gain weight in general. So like always people, please do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.